Dunkin' Donuts, today we're watching Love Island's most explosive moments, ranging from the smallest fights all the way to the biggest ones. Bloody hell, Marilyn Monroe's changed a bit. Did not talk to one bird. Well, didn't ask you not to do what you fucking want. Talk to a few scruffs in Magaluf, I'll just fucking laugh at oh, you, mate. Me <laughs> 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 Who is this? This has got to be from one of the earlier seasons. Oh my god, she is great. Get her back in. She should be like a bombshell coming back in. That is that is what I want to hear. I want to hear people calling people scruffs. Yeah, try it. Mate, are you just making a tit to yourself? No, I'm not making a tit to myself you at all. You are? Because I'm not even that bothered. You're making it out as if I'm massively bothered. Why is he shouting to the wall? Is, is this guy blind? You I'm just a bit moody. I'm a bit moody about it. I'm a bit moody about it. This is what I want to see. I love the explosive arguments with the wall. Georgia said how much of a loyal person she is and how only thought about Laura. Yet didn't once mention that she'd actually kissed him. And I'm just like, practice what you preach, Georgia. Like, you're only as loyal as your actions are. Somebody put that on a H&M t-shirt. I can see it right now. I just see like a perfectly white t-shirt. I'm like, oh, I'll get that. Ah, oh, you're only as loyal as your actions are, right? I'll put that one back on the shelf. Ellie, you need to pack down because you well, fucking. Come on, sit in the front Ellie, shut the fuck up! Say how fucking loyal you are. Go on. Did you hear the, the the emotion in that f bomb? It was shut the fuck up. Oh, don't even chase me. What are you gonna do, babe? Shut up. Fuck off. Fucking ugly fucking cunt. Shut up. You can't even Jody accents are so funny when we get angry. It's like you're fucking, you're fucking ugly. You're, you're ugly. All right, well listen to this. The first fucking time I knew that anything about this. Chances are they're both wearing 11 degrees or six silk. Like, can the guy on the left please get a tighter t-shirt? Like, come on, it's Love Island. Sam, the first time I've spoken to her properly was then. Yeah, yeah, I must have. So I'm how can I go behind your back and do anything? Slack, Look, let's sit down, let's sit down. Let's sit down. Tell me yeah, yeah, because sitting down diffuses the situation. I could be fuming, but as soon as I go, oh, well, I actually feel all right now. I'm fucking telling you that. Hey. Hold us back, hold us back. I'll get him, hold us back. All right, go on then. <laughs> and I deliberately sat down next to Scott's date because I didn't want her thinking that I was annoyed with her. Oh, this season was unbelievable. So I think Katie's actually in the new season. I'm sure there was like Mystery B and I'm sure Mystery B sucked someone off and then she lost the title of Mystery B and she was like crying the entire season. This is when Love Island was tremendous. <laughs> Drink went down her foot. Do you want to speak to me? Come in there. Because you don't do that on the first night. You don't do that with me. I mean, she just accidentally spilled a drink. Like, what kind of a prank would that be? Oh, bit of Ibiza. I got you. Go on. This is what I want to see. This is explosive. This is what we've all came for. I love it. Thing you know, she's full on shoved me. Christ, who's that? Jeff Hardy from the top rope. Love the top knot, mate. Oh my god, there's a security guard. <laughs> Since when Love Island had security guards? So the girl I want to couple up with is Tyler. I would like to couple up with this girl because um, I wasn't given a lot of choice because of a certain gigantic bell end. Um, mate, so are you calling a bell end? I'm calling you a bell end. Oh, no, 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 yes! Explosive! Come on! Getting called a bell end and he just stands up and goes, who are you calling the fucking bell end, eh? Love it. I don't mean you to have beef. Like, it was just a passing comment. I've it, not said it, it, it like that. Yeah, yeah and that's I've, fine. I don't, can't even remember me saying anything like that. Yeah, that's fine. That's all you have to say. You don't have I've to... said that. I'll okay. I've I've really said that. I feel really angry with me. I'm, fu I'm fucking angry. So... To be fair, that is an angry stance. Oh, my God. Christ. Like, it's like such a powerful stance. Honestly, he looks like fucking Iron Man or something. I would like to couple up with this girl because not only is she out of this world bootiful, Beautiful. Doesn't deserve to be treated how she has been this past 24 hours. Again. <laughs> That's Hugo guy who's talking though. He was such a pick me. Like he was like, yeah, you know, none of no none of the girls like me because I'm just too nice. You know, like nice guys that always finish last. I've definitely not been myself. I've missed Liam a lot. Um, 
I do have trust issues, so I am a little bit worried. Baby, it's you. <gasps> Just a little bit of context to this clip. I know with Love Island, like Castro and Moore, is basically when all of the boys go to a new villa and then they put loads of girls in. And if they want to pick one of them girls to bring back the other villa, they can. But if they want to stick with the original person they're with before they went to Castro and Moore, they have to come back single. Now, Millie came back single and also Liam came back signal. Signal? Single. Fucking EE. But Liam was fooling around with this girl called Lily, who actually was in my classes at school, which is a fun fact. But this was mental. How he is feeling? Shocked. Right. Shocked? Yeah. Why are you shocked? Um, I feel like I had a good connection the second I got in there. And I feel like it was very reciprocated. <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> his face. His face, he's like, oh shit. Who did you have a connection with? Liam. <gasps> what? By the way, these were like the strongest couple in this season. Oh, hey, the drama. I love it, Mick. I love it, the drama. Um, I feel like the actions were pretty equal. Sharing the bed together, kissing outside the challenges. Fuck. Oh, are you fucking joking? <laughs> How would you react to this, though? Like, I feel like you would just be like, uh, what the hell? Like, I've just hugged you and loved you. Now I find out you're kissing someone else, you scruff. Kissing outside of a challenge. That's what you like That's what you like What's he saying? He's just going, speak to you. Speak. Speak, my friend. Defend yourself if you can. You can't. Just say words. Don't whisper. That just makes you look more guilty. And like when you came over in the group and it was just awkward for everyone. This is how it's conversational. I don't agree with that. You were very confrontational. But in what world? Like, what? Is that, it like, you, like La La uh, Land? Like, that wasn't confrontational. It was not com 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 confrontational. You did. Was, everyone else thought it as well. And the whole group. Everyone else! Everyone, everyone who was fucking hey, there. Hey, 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 hey. Can't lie, um, Olivia, you, um, you're coming off a little bit confrontational right now. Hey, 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 explosive! Hey, hey, hey. Yes! So explosive! Like a German bomber. I love it. It wasn't your place to butt in. You have no idea what the fucking people well, are saying to me. You've been doing it to everyone. Montana's crying. Everyone's what crying. Montana trying to fucking cry. She's dug me out all fucking night to oh, fucking oh, Sam. There's nothing like seeing someone's mental health just spiral live in front of millions of people. It, it's honestly great, isn't it? This next clip is got to be one of like the worst clips I've ever seen. Like this last was honestly like crazy on this show. Oh, shit. I didn't know about that though. I also, I also yeah, had it. I didn't know that. So basically, this guy Teddy was like an angel in Casa Amor, and then Faye like did slept in a bed with like another guy and didn't tell him. And then this is how the argument went after. I kind of, I, well, no, she's not. I kind of, um, I, I know my worth, and for me, this is, this is done. Okay, here you go. There you Perfect. go. What then did what, I do, Faye? What, what, did what you exactly do? did okay, I do? So you had a um, sexual connection with Clarice. No, I didn't have didn't a sexual trust, connection with Clarice. You didn't trust sharing a bed with her. Se oh my God, she's you gaslighting him. She's so gaslighting him. No, no. I have absolutely fuck all to say to you, so just keep you walking. Can speak to everyone else. Yes, I will. If I want to speak to everyone else about my problems and not you, guess what? Well, it's I'm going to speak. Problem. It's not our problem. It's a you problem because I have no I problem. Know. Ah, oh, she's just really not handling this well. Like, if you've got a problem in your relationship, why would you talk about it with the whole world before you talk about it with that person? Like, it just doesn't add up. I don't want to fucking speak to you right now because I don't want to scream at you. I mean, you can't say that after you've just spent the last four minutes screaming at him. That that just doesn't really make sense, does it? Oh, yeah, you did exactly. fucking tell me the truth, did no, you? No, I didn't you lie to you. Exactly, I didn't lie to you. Fuck off! Ah, uh, this is the most explosive argument I think has ever been on Love Island, but it's not even, I'm not even going to give it an explosive reaction because it's just sad. I don't think you have any idea. Oh my god, it's him. He who shall not be named. The man from Newcastle, Adam Collard. Oh, what a man. This guy was like the devil, wasn't he, when he came in? Didn't he, like, break so many hearts? I'm sure he got put back into last season's Love Island and, like, made somebody cry and leave. I'm sure we, like, was it Jax he made cry and leave and then stole his girl, Paige? Honestly, I'm so into this. Like, this is, this is sad. It actually really hurt me and really upset me. Look at his face! This girl's like, 
Yeah, you've actually, like, you know, kind of ruined my life and made me feel, like, terrible and destroyed all my self-esteem. And he's just like, so, want to sleep in my bed tonight? You've literally just had what you wanted and ditched me 12 hours later. Zara's played a very clever game in you. By the way, how is this man smiling when he's literally wearing a Weatherspoon's plate? You've let me literally break my heart today. One thing I always forget about this show is that these people are actually real people. Like, you get so invested into, like, their lives and their stories, and it is probably their fault for going on. They do sign up for that, but it's just... Sometimes you need to take a step back and be like, I'm calling these people arseholes, when really that's an actual, actual team. <laughs>